Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about my type top five videos that I recommend. These are videos that are going to tell you about the journey. These are videos that are going to tell you about the skills. These are the videos that I think on my channel are the best videos that if you haven't watched them, you definitely should and uh, will make you a better developer and hopefully even person at the end of it. I want to thank our long-term sponsor, Dev Mountain Coding Bootcamp. I've had the pleasure of visiting their Provo, Utah campus back in the day, as well as uh, talking with some of the management there. And they really are focused on getting their students prepped up and gaining the skills to join the working world. And that's what I think a coding bootcamp should be about. So if you're interested in checking out their quality assurance program, the UI UX, IOS, full stack web development program, I highly suggest you check them out at devmountain.com. All right, guys, so up first we have how I became a developer. Um, it basically talks about the first three years of becoming a developer and going through it. And really, the reason I really like this video is it's personal to me. It goes and tells you about the journey. And those are the types of videos that I think are most valuable to you guys is when you're able to really understand what it took me to be successful and what it's so that you have proper ideas to get in there. So um, it's 20 minutes breaking out the path of going from broken, hungry college student that's working part time delivering pizzas and working another job uh, doing construction and all that sort of stuff to getting to where I am today. And this really breaks it down piece by piece. So, you know, a lot of times everyone's overnight successes but typically it's you were an overnight success after three four years of hard work so that's what this video is about and that's what i really wanted you to see with this video and that's why i think it's important the way this video came about was i was feeling sort of down and out on myself it happens right we all go have highs and we all have lows and um i wrote you know, a two page blog about how I became a developer. It's something I, I do on occasion when, I, when I'm when i feeling really bad, and I need to get it out, I'm not quite sure how, I'll just write about it. And so um, this blog is was about the journey. And so that's really what I'm going over here. And so as, as we jump through it, you'll see that uh, I'm referencing it, I'm reading it, I'm providing some additional context and uh, God, it looks so skinny there. What happened? Uh, so, like, um, but I'm I'm going over it in depth and breaking it down piece by piece. Now I've never actually released this anywhere, but this will give you a very realistic idea of um, where I was, where I mentally was at, and what it was that I was trying to accomplish. And again, all these links are going to be in the description below, so you can go and watch them. Um, you know. All right, cool. So uh, the next video that I find, and these aren't in any particular order, these are just sort of the top five videos I like the most and I think will provide the best value. How much money I make as a front end software engineer. Now, the reason I like to like this video is not really, oh, let's talk about money and this and that. That's not even, you can see this video is 25, 24 minutes. It's quite, we're talking about quite a bit in here is again, this talks about the journey. It talks about how we went from you know 45,000 or even lower it actually start, talks about it starts out talking about being broke it talks out starting about working at zero dollars an hour because you're in school and then going to twelve dollars and then to 20 and it breaks down each individual step along the way and says okay what did i get out of this all right so here i'm at this point i'm freelancing right and i'm saying okay what was i working on and as i as i progressed further and i got up to 75 000, thousand a year what did i work on how did i get there uh, a lot of people think you know overnight you're going to be making six figures and you might if you're in san francisco or new york but at that point it doesn't really matter uh but uh you know here i'm trying to paint a picture of what it where i was mentally where my skill skill level was how i was going to get better and what i was going to do so that you could see that eventually when we get uh to you know whatever the role was at this time how we continue to progress and that's you know sort of the final thought on here is really important the journey continues because that's what it is your your career is a journey of sorts 
it's a journey through corporate America or the corporate world and what you get out of it is what you put into it a lot of times and you have to be smart about it and you you have to set realistic expectations but once you do you have an understanding of where where you belong and so um, this was something that I really liked uh, because I think it gives it painted a realistic picture of what you can expect I also think that it it um it was one of those things where you got to see it is raw it's you know I, I always try to be as transparent as I can be and this is as raw as I think it can get when because a lot of people always want to know how much money you make what is it you know what sort of social economic place are you in because they want to compare themselves and under and have an idea of what is achievable and I think this video gives you a very clear idea of what is achievable so the next one is kind of a cheat uh, it's not um, it's not a uh, a um, single video it's a series of videos 11 actually um, called code like a pro and this is probably my favorite playlist I have made because I think it's the one that will be the best and most helpful for already working developers or junior developers or aspiring junior developers to really go and figure out how to write professional level software and you know I've taken quite a bit of time there's probably about, there's about two hours worth of content here uh, free code camp actually um, asked if they could take it and make it into a course and I think that did pretty well let me see here um, but uh, this was one of the things that I did right here yeah how to code like a pro so you can see here three weeks ago it went out and it's got about 60,000 views on it which is pretty good um, you know it's it's been a uh, uh, it's been, I'm always glad to help free code camp out. You can see a lot of people are liking it, but, um, you know, watch it there, watch it here, whatever. I, I don't really care, but this, this, uh, sort of course, um, I spent about, I don't know, about three months working on putting out one of these videos every other weekend, um, one a week. And I think this will make you a much better software engineer, um, uh, wherever you're at. And I, I highly recommend it to anyone that's watching it. So, okay. The next one is, uh, look at those glasses. <laughs> I was rocking it. And there I look a lot skinnier than I am now. Um, okay, so uh, this is another great video in my opinion. Um, now we're getting in, you know, we've talked a little bit about the journey. We've talked a little bit about leveling your code up. Now we're going to talk about just meeting some what I consider basic requirements of getting a job. And that's one of the reasons I like this video so much is we talk about how you need a GitHub. We talk about, you know, having a website. We talk about, um, you know, creating a video portfolio. And we talk about how to actually have a good LinkedIn. These are all things that, you know, having a good LinkedIn could mean the difference between tens of thousands of dollars. Do you know how many opportunities actually come through my LinkedIn I get several a day um, you know some are good some are bad but they're worth noting and then of course having a good resume and we talk a little bit about what that means how to break it down all those sorts of things but I encourage you to go and watch this video because a lot of people don't fully understand what they need to be successful and what they need to actually have to get their foot in the door and I think this is an excellent excellent resource to um, to get you going in the right direction and uh, last but not least um, probably one of my favorite you know it's they're all one of my favorite videos but um, you know this one has almost a hundred thousand views on it, which is one of my higher ranking videos a lot of my videos only get a couple thousand a piece um, but in here it's 25 minutes long and it's me talking about how you can be a become a great self-taught developer and I think it's great not only great advice I, I think even if you have a computer science background this is a great video for you to really understand how to continue to be a good developer because there's plenty of developers it, here, here's the thing guys if you want to be in the top 10 per percent of developers you can and you can do it probably relatively easily if you put in a little bit of work and set things up properly and you know understand what direction to go and so um that's what this video is about to make sure that you're you're going to be twice the developer you are every single year and um 
you know, because at the end of the day, whether you're a CS degree, whether you're self-taught completely, you're going to need to be a self-taught developer <laughs> developer to be any good, um, which is why, like, in those polls, 90% of people consider themselves taught because their college program didn't teach them anything. Um, but, yeah, I highly recommend watching all five of these videos. I think you'll learn something. Not only will you not only will you learn how to level up your code and understand the journey and what's possible and and understand um, you know what I achieved and what you can too, but also you'll 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 have the right mentality going through your career at whatever stage you're at. So these are the five videos that I think are the best on my channel that you will help grow the most and become the best developer you can be. So with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, share, hit that notification bell, that's the thing. If you're interested in any of the resources I recommend, down below there's the links to the books that I, I think you should read, as well as my courses, so you can help me out and check those out. See you guys next time. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to check out my 100 algorithm challenge course, get you prepped for those technical interviews to make sure you get nice offers. I, I actually just added some new content to it so you can get prepared for those technical phone screens as well. There's a link in the description to get it for just $9.99.